Oh, clutch in. Well, that's a good start. I don't like is the way the clutch um, brake line, clutch brake, or your how light it is um, in the comments, or I'll try and put it below. <coughs> Hi guys, it's Paul, bringing you some more videos from Powered by Pies, basically just about motocross, speedway, anything extreme, I'm all about it. On today's video, I'm going to tell you things that I like and don't like about the first look on my KXF 450. You might remember, last video I picked her up, brand new. Bearing in mind, it was in November, we've been locked down ever since, and I still haven't got to ride it, I'm pissed. But I thought it'd be a good opportunity now um, to go in the garage, have a look at it, tell you what I like, tell you what I don't like, go through it together, and yeah, you can see if maybe a KXF 450 is something for you. the things that I like about the KXF. Um, just a few things all about it, um, especially the things that I personally like. So first of all, we'll start with the front of the bike. It's the forks. Um, to get black anodizing on them stanchions, I think it just makes the thing look factory. Um, you also get these cool um, green anodized fork caps as well. It just, it might not do anything. I know the black uh, coating does have a, a good effect on the forks. Obviously the, the, the green anodizing doesn't make a difference, but together with the shock there, with the anodizing on the shock, black, like a, a really dark gray anodizing on the shock body, a green uh, adjuster there, just finishes the bike off. I'm a big thing about looks, you know, I'm not the fastest rider in the world, so you gotta look good, that's the main thing. Secondly, while sticking on the bottom, is the wheels, the black rims. Again, looks sick um, as, a, as a look point of view, but the only problem is with black wheels, which everyone will know as, is when you start tire changing, they do go silver. So I do like them, but then on the same point, I know in about six months, I'm gonna be like, damn, should have just had silver wheels, then you sound. Next thing off is the Renful bars, um, comes as standard. You know, the fat bars, I, I love these bars personally. These and the twin walls are probably the only bars that I ride with. Um, to get these standard, you know, pretty sick. You don't have to go to the shop, buy another set, you know, because pretty much everybody does that on the first upgrade to the bike is just get some better handlebars. So that's pretty sick that you get them as standard. Next for me would be the hydraulic clutch. Uh, never ran a hydraulic clutch before. Pretty excited to test this out. Um, especially for me now, I'm getting a bit older, getting a bit more weight, um, slower as well. I'm just gonna think, I think the hydraulic clutch will, will probably look save my arms a little bit more, you don't get that cable drag, it's less maintenance as well, um, you don't have to lube anything up, do you know what I mean, it's just ready to go every time, you might have to do a, a clutch bleed every now and again, but that's a really good thing for me, I'm you know quite excited about that. Next thing that I'm looking forward to trying out, whether I try it out or not, is on the KXF, you've got the adjustability of the handlebar clamps and the fork, uh, the fork, the foot pegs, you can raise them up or down, you can bring the bars forward or backwards, there's a couple of settings there. That's quite nice to offer that. I don't think I'm actually gonna adjust it because I'm a shorter rider, it's on the shorter settings, the pegs are higher up for me, the bars are closer towards me, so it's sort of a better feel all around. Another sick feature is the plastic color, um, like the bright green, I think just sets the bike off sick. Um, do you know what I mean? Everything just looks really good. I really like the shop guard. I don't know why, like it's green. It just makes it, I think it looks a lot better. Um, and I just think, yeah, the, the whole bike just looks sick um, in this green. Kind of why I, I chose to go for it. Again, it's just the color, a bit of a change. 
um, just made me think, yeah, wow, I definitely want this bike. Another thing I like about the KXF towards my CRF 450 2017 is the weight. This actually feels a lot lighter, and I know it is lighter, and um, I will get the figures down here for you. But, you know, it's definitely a lighter bike for me. So, you know, again, being a, a lighter guy, a smaller guy, I'm probably going to find that weight saving a big advantage for me. So I'm going to I'm gonna definitely feel that. The bike also feels a little bit thinner as well. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to riding it and just seeing how much of a difference it's going to make to my riding, if it's going to make me faster or slower. Um, I did see it at something that you know, if no matter what bike you go on, it's not gonna you're not gonna jump on a bike. It's not gonna turn you into Ken Roxon or Marvin Muscan or whoever, or maybe Thomas Earl if you're doing really bad. Um, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna do that. Um, but you might just feel better on a bike. Like I'm hoping I'll feel better on this. I bought it without riding it, so we're praying I feel better um, on this bike. So yeah, we're gonna go through that. Let's talk about the bad things though that I dislike about this bike. Um, kind of going back to the wheels, uh, more with the hubs really. There's like a, a line across the hubs. Um, I do like the look of like just like a normal alley hub. These look like they've been cast. There's a line down there. Looks a bit cheap and nasty. Um, so I'll probably look at changing my wheels up. Um, I'm a big fan of SM Pro wheels. I think their their wheels always look sick. So I'll be tempted maybe to adjust them wheels. It's also good to have a, a spur set. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, the worst bit for me about this bike is it's just the gold oil filler cap, the gold generator casing cover. It's the worst gold I've ever seen in my life. I literally think the conversation went like this. We need to change the bike a little. What colour shall we go to? I think we should go for gold. Hey, bloody hell. Yashamira, I've got just the bloody gold for you, innit? It's mint gold, it'll look sick. Ah, oh, yeah, that will be brilliant. Yeah, put that on, please. So, yeah, definitely not a fan of that. I'm also not a fan either of the screwdriver slit that's in there on the oil filler cap. That's just going to mark up pretty quick. Um, I just don't get what's wrong with just having a thumb screw um, on the actual oil filler cap. It would be easier for filling it up. It doesn't get bashed around. It looks so much better. Or even just a socket on it. I just think that just, like, you're going to get mud in there as well. Bad design, Kawasaki. Bad design. Also, another one for me. People may like these. I don't like these hose clamps. Um, they look cheap and nasty. It just looks like you can squeeze them. You can't. Um, I just generally think a hose clamp is better just with a screw. These just look cheap and nasty. I'm not a big fan of that. And I also feel like, um, I don't think you will, but maybe you like catch your hand on them. They're quite sharp. Um, just not really a fan of those, to tell you the truth. Um, so yeah, I don't like that. But there we go. I also don't like, um, it's on this side of the bike. It's the, um, I think the starter solenoid or something to do with the starter, the casing on it. Looks really cheap as well. Um, not quite a fan on that. Maybe I think, they've, again, like they've had some bits left over and they just put it together. Just looks a bit cheap on that side. Um, but, you know, if it works, it works. Maybe I, I might look at getting it coated in a different ceramic coating like, along with the oil filler plugs just to sort of ditch that ugly look uh, that it's got. So that's something to think about as well. Another thing I don't like is the way the clutch cable mounts, mounts on the clutch master cylinder. I think it just looks like it could smash off really easily. Um, I think they could have maybe put a protector around it. I can just see that getting broken off. It might not, but it just, to me, it just looks really exposed. And especially with the way the cylinder comes out a lot, I just think it could maybe just snap. Again, I, I could be wrong, but it's just little things like that that I pick up on um, and I don't like. Another thing that I like is the wavy discs. I think the discs look really sick. Um, again, they look like they, they're gonna give you some good stopping performance. Everyone knows that wavy disc just kind of helps out a little bit with the heat and the mud and everything like that. So it's good to have them on there. So the tires look pretty good for standard ones, the Dunlops. Um, you know, you're not getting like, I remember on my Honda I had like Pirelli Scorpios or something and they were crap. Um, you know, really bad tire. These look pretty good. I've been a Dunlop fan a lot. A lot of my tires have been Dunlops. Um, you know, really been good. So I'm quite happy with that. So sound performance, obviously, 
We all want to hear what it sounds like. It's an electric start, this one, so that's quite sick as well. I think it's the future now. I don't think other than the Suzuki um, has, you know, every bike has an electric start now. So that's good. So let's fire up, see what she sounds like. So just put the choke on. I think you've got to pull the clutch in. And... Well, that's a good start. been started for a while so I'm guessing that's why it took a little bit and um, sounds like a good bike uh, all 450 sound the same you can see I was revving it it's raspy there's no bogs and um, obviously it's still a bit cold I don't want to fume myself up in the garage either especially when I'm not riding it uh, for a little while so yeah first impression on the KXF really good and um, there's my thoughts of what I think of the bike, good and bad. Let me know in the comments what you think about the KXF. Let me know if I've missed any good comments, like good parts of it or any bad parts on it. Get them in the comments. And um, yeah, thanks a lot guys. Please subscribe. I'm going to hit you up with some more videos. Hopefully we're going to be riding soon. I'll be able to do some reviews on tracks, um, any products for the bikes, kit, uh, anything you want reviewing. I'm going to be all over it. So yeah, cheers guys.